for clout chase clout for no chase. reason. Clout chase? Yeah. I don't know how you deal with this man every single you day of your life. You He's chase. a six-year-old. I really don't know how you deal with this. this because you're clout chasing. Crazy. Oh, baby, they try to go at it. Listen, hey guys, welcome to Little Black Book 91. Little Black Book, you know what time it is. We're talking to you guys, obviously, about Lovers Blind, specifically, we're talking about Jackie and Marshall. Sorry, Jackie and Josh and the Monica situation. If you didn't already know, newsflash, Monica and Josh actually did have a little thing where they were going to go to the altar. So originally, it was meant to be Monica and Josh. She actually got a ring and everything, um, went to the, but they went to the altar didn't go through and then obviously Josh actually ended up with Jackie that's why there's so much heat in this conversation because there's an unspoken thing that's happened which is them two actually had a relationship so whilst he was getting to know Jackie and talking about all the things you're doing he was also getting to know Monica and I'm guessing that's a sticky point for Monica I'm guessing that's a part that she feels a little bit hurt by and I'm not sure she's able to tell the full truth in that in that situation now this is a part one of two because Monica and, Je and Monica and uh, Jackie had their own conversation, which I think is really important to discuss. But on this one, we're going to discuss Monica and Josh and the actual beef. It was a stupid beef. I can be honest with you. And the escalation of it was just dumb. And the reason being is because I think they haven't spoken for a little while. But number two, also because none of them are actually trying to listen to one another. And nobody set the rules of the engagement. So it was willing to go anywhere and everywhere and nowhere. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that and why it went to that place as well. So if you're new to the channel, do me the biggest favor. We're trying to reach 100K subscribers, um, and I'm not afraid to say it, okay? I'm not too proud to beg, as they would say. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and then click on that black on that bell button click on the black one that will let you know of the uploads and the lives and the community pages um uploads that we do as well and for those of you again who are new like it and share with somebody who else loves love is blind because we want to we want to we want to share the love around all right okay because we're gonna make it happen today okay uh, and for those of you who are returnees and you already know what the minerals are baby you got the minerals you got the minerals Stay hydrated because the streets out there are hot. All right, let's break it down. Let's get deeper into the situation. Now we have a bit of background, and we know that these two actually dated. We can probably see a little bit more of why there's animosity. Josh, why didn't you deny? Because I. It's exactly so because, because you know be because you're such a horrible like human being, and you actually have to make right? things up. It's so sad. So we got these two going at it to the highest hill, right? She's calling him a horrible human being. He's a six-year-old. He's saying she's a clout chaser, and she clout chased. Now, the reason for this argument and why it took place is because, actually, uh, you know, she put up a post on Instagram um, when the when the episodes dropped originally, and she spoke about her experience without naming Josh. Most people put two and two together and realized that Josh, and I remember I put it together because there was a photo that had 10 people uh, um, and that were together or whatever, or something like that, or whatever, right? Or seven or eight couples, I can't remember. And one of them was Josh. And I was like, wait, hold on a minute. Why is Josh in the photo? Because he never got married, right? We know he didn't get married, right? Or we know that he didn't go to the altar, or at least he didn't propose to anybody. And then we found out, no, he did. He proposed to Monica, right? Because Monica was, when you when you launched up all the couples that had got together, it all made sense. I set two people, Monica and whoever was on the other side, which was the boy's side, which was Josh. So I was like, oh, okay, no. That means them two also dated. And a lot of people put two and two together as well. So Monica and Josh obviously dated, got engaged, and obviously it didn't go anywhere. And there are issues because Josh doesn't like Monica, apparently, and he feels some type of way. And he explains the reason why. It's because when she put that post, he feels she's, she's clout chasing. She feels like he's trying to restrict her speech. Also, she doesn't like Josh. She thinks Josh is a horrible human being. So you've gone from proposing to me to now being a horrible human being. Is he really a horrible, be horrible um, human being? Or are you, are you a little bit jilted? Are you a little bit hurt by the fact that he didn't choose you, but he chose Jackie? And yet you still want to be friends with Jackie. And I can see why he doesn't want you to be friends with Jackie. Because if you're about to lay your poison into her, I don't want you around either. Whether I like Josh and Jackie's situation or not, they've got to protect their relationship. And you being around is a problem. Actually, relationships should protect themselves from people like Monica who are willing to spill some poison into relationship. She spoke about how I've never, you know, I've never, um, I've always supported your relationship. I've always made sure that you guys, I'm always rooting for you guys, right? Cool. But at the same time, you, your opinion of him is a, he's a six-year-old. That's what you told him to his face. He's a six-year-old. And then you said, I can't believe you're even dating. I can't believe it. How do you even deal with him on a daily basis? Babe, on that note, on that basis, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to want you around. It's going to be tough to want to keep you around. Because you're at you're 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 now you're now you're now talking about her man in a particular way that's derogative. Let's have a look. 
Josh. Why didn't you deny it? Because I. It's exactly because you know because you're such a boy. Sorry. If I would have, if I have, you're trying to cloud chase. You're trying to cloud chase for no reason. Cloud chase? I don't know how you deal with this man every single day of your life. So. Of course, now, what do you think is going to happen? Is Jackie going to choose you or is she going to choose uh, uh, her man? She told us very, very clearly. Jackie said, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. I'm going to choose my man every day. So now Monica's lost out on a friendship because really and truly, as much as Monica may be a friend to Jessica, to, to, to Jackie, sorry, Jackie's loyalty lies with whoever she's in love with. You see, Jackie's one of those people, similar to myself too, right? We love, we, we, we put a lot of our love and trust and fidelity on the person that we're in love with is actually partly good, but it's also trauma effects, right? So when you can't trust many people, you expect your partner to be the one person you can trust in the whole entire world. And the problem with that is that you put my man, my man, my man, my man energy into the atmosphere. Now, I don't want to go too deep in this. I want to do a separate video on this. Talk about my man, my man, my man. And it's real because what happens is you don't trust your friends as much. And, but you put all that emphasis that you should put on your friends onto that one person in the relationship. The moment they break your trust, there's going to be hell to pay, right? Because you've put all your love, all your energy, all your faith, all your trust into that one person, expecting them to be Superman for you or Superwoman for you because other people have let you down. That's a dangerous place to be. So now what she's saying is between you and her, after, after Jackie told us that Monica is a great friend, the closest person she has. And yet she's willing to ditch her for Josh. Why? Again, like I said, the need to rewrite history of people that have let her down. She she has put all her eggs in one basket that her man will... Let's have a look. You guys gonna He's a six-year-old. I really don't know how you deal with this. this is because you're Josh. Josh. Why didn't you deny me? Because I... So she's saying here that he's a horrible human being and, you know, uh, he's a clout chaser and da 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 And reality of the situation is, you know, uh, reality of the situation is, is she a clout chaser? Maybe. Partly was. Uh, but I think also she wanted to tell her truth. And I think she wanted to show that she also was loved and she was taken care of. And actually partly because all oh, she don't like you. So she's trying to stick the dagger in a little bit into you by putting that post up right i'm not mad at it i mean i understand it i understand where both of them are coming from i get it um this is not going to be healthy in a long run so i have a feeling jackie's going to choose jackie will keep monica or monica and josh either two things will happen she'll keep monica away from the relationship and away from her at a distance or what she'll do is she'll compartmentalize and she'll see monica when she sees monica but won't mention it to josh when she talks to josh she won't mention it to monica and just do it that way to keep the peace because her leaving in that moment, she could have easily told him, listen, hey, you two, you need to get along. Let's sort this out. But instead, she ran. And that tells me that, of course, you know, you don't want to be in toxicity. You don't want to be in toxic positions. But this wasn't even a toxic situation. It was an argument that had drama in, yes. But it required a firm hand. It required some delegation. It required somebody to take lead of that situation. Say, hey, Monica, don't call him a, 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 that he's a six-year-old. That's my man. You don't call her a clout chaser. That's my friend. I want you two to work it out. But if you're going to insult each other, we're not going to get far. Someone needs to be a mediator in that conversation. Jackie was choosing not to do that. And she went away. And I've, I said this about Jackie before. When it comes to drama now, I think she's taken on a different role and a different disposition. She's learning to run away from the drama. The trouble is, running doesn't necessarily solve your issues. If, if it, Sometimes you have to face it. When I say face it, it doesn't mean stand in it and, and become part of the toxic problem. No, it means become the solution. Begin to work out solutions. How do I mitigate this situation? What am I hearing from both sides? Now, of course, someone might say it's a counselor job, and maybe it is, but, you know, I felt like that was the only way that was going to sort that situation out. Um, and instead, she ended up going away, and these two end up going back and forth. Even when Jackie left, neither of these people looked at, watch, look. Inga, you actually this. have to make things up. It's so sad that you have to See, and now you're trying, you're trying you to say, have to good life I'm because you know anybody can say anything, just like you're saying. Oh. Whatever. Look, all the time they're talking, Jackie done left, and none of them are focused on Jackie. Both of them were so focused on each other, so focused on winning the argument, nobody even realized Jackie had gone. And until he decided to end it and be like, you know what, Frick, it doesn't, I don't really care anymore, and then go, go to see Jackie, that was the only time. Now, actually, what happens after is really interesting as well. We can do a video about that. But when they talk outside and he's like, do you want to go? He goes back inside to talk to, I think it might have been Chelsea, and you see Marshall, and he starts talking about the situation 
Chelsea really want to hear what he's got to say. She ends up giving him advice. Marshall turns his back to him. He's like, he's not really trying to be involved. And so he wanted to vent and there was no one to vent to. <sighs> Political situation, right? So listen, I, I'm going to leave it there. You're, I think the best friend uh, situation with, with uh, Monica and Josh is easily solved by someone mediating and then having a conversation about things. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think? Um, do you disagree? Do you agree that, you know, Monica, who wasn't wrong for you? I personally think that both of them were wrong because they actually escalated the conversation really quickly. And actually where it escalated was the moment that he came over when she, when he was talking, she was interrupting. You know, I maybe, maybe I can do a video about that as well to kind of break it down and I'll show you she was the one that was interrupting at first. When he was talking, she was interrupting. She didn't let him finish. Nobody asked you to post that. Nobody. And we were I'm cool. I'm allowed to we, tell my story. We, and Jack and, and I, you and I understand post it. it. And we were cool with that. But when and you're when it. you're that's leaving up, when you're leaving up comments, and, oh, okay. So actually, there could have been more. The, the conversation. She gets on interrupting him. He was talking first, and she was trying to tell him, "Well, I can tell you my truth." Da, 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 da. She was ready for a fight, because even when they started it, how she started it, she was like, "Yeah, you can go and get uh, Josh." I was like, oh, she's ready to fight, bro. Ready to fight. We'll talk about it in another video. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked, stay loaded. We'll see you again very, very soon. So